Shabbat Shalom to all my friends in SW3 and beyond. This week, Sidra of Korach, about Moshe's cousin, who decides that it's not up to the people, or Moshe or anyone, to make Moshe the leader of the Jewish people and his brother Aaron the high priest. In fact, Korach makes a whole rebellion, challenging the position of Moshe and Aaron, wanting to know why he has been given nothing. Moshe can't understand this, for of course no one else chose Moshe apart from God himself, and no one chose Aaron apart from God himself. So why would Korach, who himself had privileges, he came from the tribe of Levi, and therefore they had privileges, he was a very wealthy man, he was the head of his family, what would make Korach decide that now is the time to seek to be the leader, and with force? Rebellion, screaming, shouting, protestations. Moshe couldn't understand it. But how can we understand it? What made Korach want and desire this privilege, this power, when he must have known that it's all God-given? And Rabbi Shela says the answer actually comes from the first word of this week's Sidra. Vayikach Korach. And Korach took. In this world there were two types of people givers and takers. Moshe's whole life, his DNA was giving. Giving, giving of himself, giving from himself, always giving. Hence, in this week's Sedra, Moshe is described as the world's most humblest man, for he is constantly giving. And then you have the takers. It's never enough. Whatever they have, they need more. They seek more. They desire more. Korach was a taker, which is why the Torah starts this week's Sidra with Vayikach Korach, and Korach took. If someone is looking for power, especially today's general election is all about power, the real leaders can also be divided into two types, givers and takers. Let's hope for the best. Shabbat Shalom.